Hey guys, Andy from Poly Performance here. Today we're going to be talking about ring and pinion sets, install kits, and other parts from Nitro Gear and Axle. First up, we've got a basic pinion install kit. This is just your basic pinion kit that includes inner and outer bearings, crush sleeve, pinion seal, and the pinion nut. It's important to note that when you're doing gears, you need to replace the pinion nut every time. It uses a crushing thread. You're only supposed to torque that once. Otherwise, it's not going to hold torque in the future. Crush sleeve is also going to be replaced each time. Or in this case, what we're doing on this particular rear end, this is a JK non-Rubicon rear end. We're going to be doing a crush sleeve eliminator kit. It's a solid pinion spacer. One of the issues with the with the JKs is that when they get loaded down, you got the kids, you got all the camping gear, you're heading up to the mountains for the weekend. You're putting that rear end under a lot of load. What will happen is this this crush sleeve will actually crush further than it originally was crushed when torqued. And then you're gonna lose the preload on your pinion bearings and that's gonna smoke the bearings. This crush sleeve eliminator is very similar to what the older, more old school guys might remember being in a Dana 60 or a Dana 70. It's a solid spacer that takes the same spot. And what that does is it's never gonna crush, it's never gonna deform, and it's gonna hold the torque forever. So that way you don't have to risk ruining your pinion gears. Here's the ring and pinion from Nitro. This is 8620 heat treated, triple lapped on a CNC machine. These are actually made, over, made by an OEM supplier for Nitro. What that means is that you can expect a much higher quality, much longer life, and a much quieter, much quieter operation. Another thing that's real cool about these guys is they dual drill a lot of their ring and pinions. This one's for, I believe, 3 8 and 7 16 bolt. It just depends on the application and what carrier you're gonna be running that with but it's nice to know that they've thought about the options and left them open for you. So thanks for tuning in. Next up, we're gonna be talking about an ARB locker going in this rig, and I'm gonna to explain to you a few more of the differences between a Rubicon and a non-Rubicon housing. Thanks for stopping in, guys.